What's going on? It's Suk and I'm back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. In today's video, I shall be showing you what it's like to play a handful of games on the 2023 16-inch M2 Pro powered MacBook Pro. As always, the spec for the model that I am testing will be left down below in this video's description and I will also be uploading my full and in-depth review of this MacBook. Also, we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers, so if you are new around here, then I must ask you to hit the subscribe button, clicking the bell icon to be notified of when a new video goes live. Without any further ado, let's hit the titles. So firstly, let's get into talking about which games I played on this MacBook. These games were Battlefield 5, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Minecraft, League of Legends, GTA 5, CSGO, Firewatch, Fortnite, and finally Hitman 2. So starting off with this display's native resolution at 3456 by 2234 and keeping the graphic settings to high, we can see the games which performed the best here were Minecraft and League of Legends, averaging 112 and 109 frames per second respectively. Fortnite and CSGO were the only other games to average above 60 frames per second. Which while it's good, it's certainly not going to saturate the 120Hz ProMotion display of this MacBook Pro. With Fortnite coming in averaging close to 100 frames per second, you'll certainly be able to get a higher frames per second by lowering those graphic settings. Hands down the worst performing game, which unsurprisingly was ran through Windows 11 through Parallels, was Battlefield 5 which was closely followed up by Hitman 2. Whilst they both averaged 22 frames per second, in dimly lit scenes, Hitman could average less than half of this, which rendered the game quite unplayable at this resolution. Firewatch is a good example of a game which runs natively on the Mac, which hasn't been updated in many years, and thus performs weak. In all fairness, I wouldn't recommend playing any of these games other than maybe Minecraft and League of Legends, but even then, you're not saturating this MacBook Pro's display's refresh rate at this resolution with these settings. Therefore, after lowering the resolution to 2560 by 1600, we should certainly expect better results. Now, whilst it didn't make much of a difference with some games, with others, we see leaps in performance. Firstly, Minecraft and League of Legends fared much better at this resolution, saturating this display's refresh rate, and honestly playing these games feels really good and very smooth. Fortnite performed very well with it averaging 105 frames per second, although at times it could dip to the low 80s which wasn't really noticeable. CSGO had modest improvements with it now averaging in the 80s while Battlefield 5 was now averaging 32 frames per second, up from 22. Hitman, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Firewatch and GTA 5 were all within that 40 to 50 frames per second average range, which whilst it wasn't great, considering that two of these games were still being played through parallels, it's still quite bad. I mean, even if we're comparing the price of this laptop to other gaming laptops, although I'm sure that if those games were to be played natively, they would have undoubtedly have performed better had those games been made available to run natively on macOS. Further to this, I wanted to test how well this MacBook would perform when lowered to full HD at this aspect ratio to 1920 by 1200. And the story continues once again. Minecraft and League of Legends performed the best, which was to be expected, followed up by CSGO and Fortnite, which both averaged 114 and 120 respectively. It was good to see that GTA averaged above 60 frames per second, and here's to hoping that the next version of GTA is available on macOS. Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Firewatch were the only other two games to average above 60 frames per second. I did want to see how this MacBook Pro would perform once the resolution was further reduced, so reducing it to 1200 by 800 and keeping those graphic settings to high, we can see that all games average above 60 frames per second, including Battlefield 5, which whilst the experience store isn't exactly great, considering it's being run through a virtual machine on a machine that's as thin as this MacBook Pro with the battery life that it has to offer, 
is great to see. I can only imagine how the other machines like those other MacBook Pros with the M2 Max will perform. So yeah, you might want to subscribe to the channel to find out. If I'm being honest, due to the screen only being able to show a maximum of 120 frames per second, for Minecraft and League of Legends, I would keep to 2560 by 1600. For Fortnite and CSGO, I would keep to 1920 by 1200. And for the other games like Firewatch, Hitman, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and GTA, I wouldn't really want to play them on this machine as the experience isn't great. Although if you lowered the graphic settings and played at 1920 by 1200, you could certainly get away with it. Just know that you won't be taking full advantage of that ProMotion display. And how don't get me started on Battlefield 5, as that was the worst performing game across all resolutions. Once again, perhaps it'll perform better on machines equipped with the M2 Max. Be sure to subscribe to find out the answer. So that has been it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions or if there's anything that you'd like to see further tested on this machine, then be sure to leave them down below in the comment section or alternatively, you can hit me up on my social media, links to which can be found down below in this video's description. And whilst you're down there, I will also leave links to where you can purchase this machine for the cheapest prices currently available online. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care and have a good one.